Rob Fiasco Nation, welcome back to another episode of Rob the Fiasco Reviews. Now if this is your first time to my channel, don't forget to go down and smash the subscribe button down below if you don't want to miss out on content like this. Here we're talking about Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Just saw it and I have a few things to tell you guys about it. So, first and foremost, I'm going to tell you because I don't want to seem like I'm ragging on this movie the whole time. I had a decent time at this movie. There was good things, there was bad things, there was things uh, kind of in the middle. But I'll start off with the good things. First of all, the character designs. How these characters were designed, the plethora of characters that we get, that's from my word of the day calendar, the designs. This movie's like Fifth Element meets Star Wars, meets just there's so many different characters and they're all designed so creative, so uniquely, and they looked fantastic. There was, I don't even know, my favorite thing is when you can't tell whether it's CG or if it's practically done. Uh, and I couldn't tell. Some of this stuff looked so real, some of it was obviously CG. But the stuff that was like kind of in the middle, we were like, I don't know if there's a guy in a suit, or I don't know if it's a guy at a chair programming this character on screen. That was, that was fantastic. This movie starts off, it gets the exposition dump out of the way. You already know kind of how this world works. Where my problem was, uh, I don't know. Okay, so I'll start at the very beginning. The opening scene, the opening sequence, the opening set piece, fantastic. You'll see stuff that you've never seen in any other movie, and if you have, comment down below, let me know. But for my wealth of knowledge, I've never seen anything done like this, and it was very creative. But after that opening sequence, to be honest, the movie does a very poor job of explaining uh, the stakes of this movie, why I, sh I should be invested. And other than creating a very beautiful world, the world building is the bee's knees. Everything in this world, just like the character building, just like the character development, just like the character design, everything in this world just looks breathtaking. It is fantastic. It is seamless. You'd never think it's too much. It is just very well done. My issue with this movie are stakes and um, being invested in the story. Other than Dane DeHaan and Carrie Delevingne, I wasn't really a fan of anyone else in this movie. I feel like Rihanna was in this and it was wasted. Uh, Clive Owen, one of my favorite actors, he was in this, wasted. Ethan Hawke in it, wasted. The main two actors are really the only two people who did anything for me in this movie. And until maybe the last 20 minutes, I didn't really care about too much. I saw things on the screen, I saw things happening, I laughed, I was engaged. Uh, but only to the point that I was seeing stuff that was very visually pleasing, but I didn't really there was no stakes really. And then the last 20 minutes, last 15 minutes, they tried to explain you what you were just watching and you're like, whoa, that's too rushed. Why am I supposed to care? How are you explain the whole movie to me? Why don't you do this in the beginning or in the middle? That was my only issue with the movie. And yeah, it kind of took me out of it. The whole middle, I was like, I'm watching cool stuff, but do I care about it? Not really. So I'm sorry about that, but uh, that's, that's pretty much where I'm at. The movie is worth seeing. I'll say that. It is... Visually just fantastic. You've never seen anything like it. Uh, it's not the fifth element. It's not as good as the fifth element. The fifth element story is way better. The CG obviously is better now because of its time. But yeah, I just, I enjoyed the movie, but it took me to the last 15, 10 minutes to kind of be like, ah, oh, yeah, I guess the way that they wrapped up this cute little bow, that was good. But I don't like when movies do that. For the middle, for the middle maybe hour, I was like, cool things, but why? So yeah, guys, that was my review of Valerian, City of a Thousand Planets. I definitely recommend seeing this in IMAX, in 3D, if you can, because it's worth that. But uh, stay to the end, obviously, because that's when you get paid off, and that's all I have to say. All right, Fiasco Nation, again, if it's your first time to my channel, don't forget to go down and smash the subscribe button down below. You don't want to miss out content like this. Guys, Fiasco Nation, if you've seen this movie, comment down below. What was your favorite part? Am I crazy? Am I wrong? I know there's a few people, a few YouTubers who I know who are very excited about this movie, and they might not like my review of it, but just comment down below what you think. If you haven't seen this movie, guys, are you pumped for it? Are you excited for it? Did my review sway you left or right? Let me know. My social media is linked down below. Uh, follow me on Twitter, guys. Follow me on Twitter. Go now. Look at the description. Follow me on Twitter. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. And remember, there is no spoon. Yeah, uh, I'll say it in Susan Squad, and I'll say it now. That Cara Delevingne got some eyebrows. <laughs>